name is Miriam Matthews, and I'm a fourth year medical student at the University College Dublin in Ireland. Today, I would like to present a case of the rare Proteus syndrome in a young adolescent. On a medical mission trip to Tunbeis, Peru, a 13-year-old boy presented with enlargement of his left leg. The father stated that his son's leg had been progressively enlarging since early infancy, and said that numerous treatments for filariasis, which was endemic to the area, had not helped. His physician diagnosed him with Proteus syndrome. Proteus syndrome is an overgrowth condition that manifests with progressive asymmetric overgrowth of the limbs, with occasional hamartomas and vascular malformations, and has an estimated prevalence of one in a million to one in 10 million. It was named by Hans Rudolf Weidemann after the Greek shapeshifter god Proteus, and it is speculated that Joseph Merrick, the so-called elephant man of 1800s London society, had Proteus syndrome. Patients with Proteus typically have no anomalies at birth, but develop asymmetric and irregular overgrowth between six and 18 months of age that continues until adolescence and then plateaus. The limbs are the most commonly affected, but the location and severity of the deformities may vary. The pathognomonic sign of Proteus is the presence of cerebriform connective tissue nevi that most commonly appear on the palms and soles. This brain groove type pattern will thicken over time and can complicate hygiene in the affected areas. And their presence also distinguishes Proteus syndrome from Klippel-Finane syndrome, another overgrowth disease. Proteus syndrome is thought to be caused by somatic mosaicism in the AKT1 gene on chromosome 14. The diagnosis is usually based on clinical findings, but can also be confirmed with testing for the AKT1 mutation. Unfortunately, Imaging and further testing for a patient were not possible because of the remote location. Complications of Proteus can vary in severity and may include skeletal overgrowth, CNS manifestations, pulmonary emboli, and DVTs, the latter two being the most frequent cause of mortality in Proteus patients. Although patients may have cutaneous capillary malformations, venous and arterial malformations are less common. Treatment options will, will address complications as they arise. So multiple orthopedic procedures such as reduction, osteotomies, shoe lifts, and custom foot mirror may all help with leg length dis discrepancies. Spinal fusion surgery and surgical correction of the scoliosis may help arrest kyphoscoliosis and prevent pulmonary compromise. And wherever possible, Consultations with genetics, pediatrics, dermatology, and orthopedics are all helpful. Patients and caregivers may feel isolated because of the disfiguring nature of this disease, so all may benefit from this referral to behavioral health care providers and family support groups if possible. The life expectancy for Proteus syndrome depends on the severity of the complications, but ranges anywhere between nine months to 29 years. The father of this patient was informed of the possible complications and was given a guarded prognosis and life expectancy of a patient with Proteus syndrome. Thank you so much. And I'd also like to thank my co-authors, Dr. Rosas and Dr. Mazur for the help. And I'd be happy to take any questions.